Kia ora, hello and welcome back. A short video for a short month, a couple of purchases and some scenic updates. So first off we have these two class 20s. Um, clearly in the Hundlet Barclay uh, livery as used by the uh, Weed Guide friend. Very, very nice. Uh, all the class 20s, one thing I didn't quite appreciate was that they're actually not the identical version of the class 20. The one on the right has the domino coded head box light boxes, and on the left there you can see it has the um, old school uh, lamp and uh, root description. Just running them in now, um, so hopefully in about an hour or so they should be good to go. They're both chips and uh, I'll be programming them with the same identity ID, uh, but then having uh, have to have one be the reverse of the other one. Obviously, um, as you can see, maybe not on the right. We have oh, they're both going nose first, basically. And I would like to rectify this so that one can go uh, tail first, the other can go nose first. They're using the same chip, so they should both have very, very similar, if not identical performance characteristics, but you never know. To go with the Class 20s, I also bought the Coach Pack for the Huntley Bubbly Weed Killing Train. Um, these were on relatively good offer from Hans at 43 for the pair. These are probably what triggered the initial purchase anyway, really. I mean, I've been looking at these for a while, but um, I think the, the discount really uh, sold it for me. Very detailed models, including the one end on the coach there, nice and yellow, as per prototype. Includes a few other details in the pack, which I haven't fitted yet. I also have the weed killing wagons yet to come, they're uh, on pre-order. And uh, the final, there is, in some sets there is a coach with mostly blacked out windows, and then some kind of GUV vehicle with it as well, I haven't worked out how to source these yet. of getting a vinyl rep for one mark one coach for the one with the boarded up windows and uh, southern region gov seems reasonable in terms of the wooden panelling and the details on it and stuff it's not exactly perfect but no one makes uh, the actual wagon which they used so i'm thinking if i could get a respray of a southern region gov vehicle that would probably give a very good uh, estimate or equivalent vehicle What you can see in shot now is my Regional Railways Class 31, which is the sand fitted one. I've uh, swapped one of the bogies over that were damaged, having taken it from the, the uh, Rail Freight Livery 31 you can see on screen. It now runs very, very well. still the uh, livery is quite nice. So as you can see now uh, the finishing is, is more detailed than the uh, ones I had previously with the handbrake there and the axle box is nicely painted and lit up along with the additional ladder and piping at the back as well as the details on top being a bit more detailed uh, and a bit more fine. But that's, that's not a problem obviously. I'm going to enjoy running these around as a, a long cement tray. So I've done what a lot of modelers have done and imported some, some cheap stuff from uh, China. Um, this came with some lights, a ton of people, some park benches and some couplings. Um, the people have been a great success, I haven't tested out the lights yet, 
and the park benches I'll probably include only a couple of them because I don't need what looks to be about 50 uh, park benches. Um, the couplings weren't a success, they didn't quite fit under uh, the carriages or the buffer beams of the locos I'm afraid. As you can see the people have now been fitted to some of the carriages, I started with my regional railways, you can just about make out some of them through the windows there, it's a bit dark perhaps. Um, I didn't go over the top with all the people, but yeah, in some angles you do see them better than others. Uh, and I do quite like that, it, that they're in there, because I know they're there. Finally, we have a little bit of scenic update. I haven't glued any of this in place, but as a potential layout, we have the shed and the, the fuel storage tanks. I've also been working on uh, the, the scrap train with all the old ex-mineral wagons. These are now mostly weathered. Some of them are a lot more rusty than others, um, so I'll keep work on that um, because obviously they're just mostly dirty rather than rusty, and I, I kind of want to improve that look. And then obviously those are some of the wag carriages are with the people in.